This is Behind Enemy Lines, sponsored by Microsoft Teams. I'm Mike Keith, joined by Mark Long from the Associated Press. He covers the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mark, thanks so much for the time. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike. All right, so let's talk quarterback to begin with. When we saw the Jags in week two, it was Garner Minshew. Now it's Mike Glennon. Why the reason for the quarterback change in Jacksonville? There are rumors that, you know, they just were ready to be done with Minshew and that they wanted a guy who you knew he was going to run the play from the pocket. And Minshew's much more of a, you know, a guy who just kind of scrambles and really does things his kind of own thing on the fly. And it's hard. It's really hard for a young team like the Jags are at receiver and some other spots to, to play that way. Mark, is the story of the year for the Jacksonville Jaguars running back James Robinson? Oh, there's no question. He's been a huge bright spot in an otherwise dismal year. He's going to become the, I think, the fourth undrafted rookie to top 1,000 yards. And he's just got a completely different attitude and demeanor than what they've seen previously. From a locker room standpoint, he's a huge upgrade. Speaking of attitude and demeanor, the record is not good in Jacksonville. We certainly get that. But they've been playing everybody off their feet. It feels like this team still very engaged, still very excited about the opportunity they have. And maybe is that because of their youth? There's no question it's the youth. But let's give Doug Marone a ton of credit. Doug Marone has kept them engaged and and trying hard every single week. It's almost like they don't even know that they're they're supposed to lose. Mark Long, thanks for taking us behind enemy lines, sponsored by Microsoft Teams.